Okay, so let's have a look at call schedulers. Here I've pulled up the most popular call schedulers and the most popular one by far is Calendly. Now Calendly itself is a pretty decent call scheduler. The API has got some funkiness to it and it's not a great API if you're trying to add questions and answers to your calls. However, I don't recommend doing that anyway. It's better just to keep your call scheduler with just as few fields as possible and then have a separate form after they book the call to do the onboarding questions or a separate form before they get to the call scheduler to screen them. Don't try to put the form inside the call scheduler itself. Just keep it nice and simple. Name, phone, email, schedule call. Don't have 50 fields in there because the form builders in every platform are pretty terrible. So let's have a look at the pricing. Now, Calendly, you're paying $12 per seat. That's per user per month. And on the standard plan, we can do unlimited events and unlimited meetings. That's very generous. Multiple calendars for scheduling. That means that we can connect multiple calendars to our meetings. And that way we know when we're available, not available. And that's per user. So each user can connect their calendar to Calendly. Calendly can then see all their appointments in their Google or Apple calendar. And then it knows when people can book or not book calls. Integrations, you can just ignore that for all these systems. As long as they have an API, that's the only integration you need. You can then connect it to anything with make.com and you, you don't need any of their built-in rubbish that they try to add. That's pretty decent. You don't get that on all the plans normally, so it's pretty generous that they have that. Automated reminders and follow-ups. You definitely want to have that in your call scheduling system. It's a very messy thing to try and connect up your call scheduler to your email marketing platform to send these automated messages. And you also don't want to send those messages with an email marketing system because that's marketing and this is transactional emails. If you're trying to set up custom emails to do this outside of Calendly, you want to make sure that you're using a transactional email provider. Something like Postmark, Mailgun, SendGrid, one of those is what you want to use there. However, Calendly's got this built in, so you might, might as well leverage that and just use their built-in system. And you've got great customizability for those emails. So great, we're paying $12 per month per user, and we can do unlimited events and meetings, and we can do multiple calendars connected. That's gonna be our two main features that we're looking at. Let's have a look at Acuity. Now, I used to recommend Acuity a lot because it was much better than Calendly. Then, unfortunately, they got bought out by Squarespace. And then they just went downhill. Absolutely downhill. They just crashed and burned. Absolutely terrible system. It's got like Squarespace-esque all over it now. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm so annoyed because they were so much better than Calendly. However, now you can see that their pricing is much higher than Calendly. $20 per user versus 12. So it's almost twice the price. There are some features in Acuity that Calendly don't have, like sharing of resources. For instance, you may have a room that you do a meeting in and you've only got one room, but you may have separate meetings per salesperson and you might have five salespeople. Well, those five salespeople need to use the same room and therefore the constraint is not the meeting that's being booked and each salesperson's calendar availability. It's the room that is being used. Maybe a mortgage broker, for instance, they come to your office, they meet in a meeting room at the office or a photographer. This is your locations, which is your resources. So you can have up to six resources here. So you can have one on this emerging plan, but most people will probably need to be on this $34 plan. And then you do have unlimited events. Again, you can just ignore all this rubbish here. Reminder, emails and SMSs, great. Appointment packages, you don't have that on Calendly. So this is, you can buy a group of five or 10 appointments. And really, Acuity is designed a little bit more so for yoga studio or a gym where you might buy 10 personal trainer sessions and then you book them in on this call scheduler and then you pay for it all at once. So they do have that functionality if you need it. But if you're going to be doing something like that, use MindBody. So if you've got a fitness studio or a yoga studio or some sort of like wellness business, this is the app that you should use. Don't try to do that in Acuity. You can do it, but... Just use MindBody. It's purpose-built for the wellness industry and it's going to have everything in it. So highly recommend that. 
instead of trying to use a call scheduler. If you're trying to use a call scheduler to actually book calls, Acuity is okay, but it's really bloated with features. Calendly is great for a, a simple call scheduler, but they do have some limitations in their API, which is a little bit annoying. Here we've got Doodle. Doodle is a little bit different to the other ones in that you poll. So it's based more for group scheduling of calls, group meetings. And it's really good if you've got a once a week group meeting or something and you need to poll the whole team of 20, 30 people to see when everyone's timelines match up and when is the best time for the meeting. Doodle is great for that. It's what it's built for. If you're just doing normal sort of calls, you can do that here as well, but you're really paying for that sort of collaboration meeting. So that's what the whole system's built around. Uh, I would use Calendly if I was doing one-on-one -on -one and not needing the polling. But for polling, you're paying $15 per user per month. Now, that's just the user that's booking the polling meeting. It's not for the attendees to that meeting. So, for instance, you might just have the manager have one account, and then they just put in all, all the team meetings, and then every team member can then vote on that team meeting, and then you find the best time for everybody. So, pretty cool system to doing that sort of collaboration of a meeting. Uh, 15 a month, and you do get unlimited meetings as well as unlimited one-on-ones. Then you've got Need to Meet. Now, Need to Meet, quite honestly, they're a bit of a clunky system. I don't particularly like them very much. You can tell that from their website already, but it's just not a great user experience. They do have polling as well. To be honest, the polling's pretty terrible. Just use Doodle. Multi-platform, ad-free, unlimited time, unlimited attendees. So you definitely need to be on this $12 per user plan. Not a great platform. I know some people use it, but it's just real messy. I, I don't like it. This one here, cal.com, fairly new entrant here. $15 per user per month. Round Robin, you get that on all of these different systems we've looked at. And Round Robin is essentially you have a pool of people that can do that appointment. And then you combine all their availability. And then you show that combined availability into the call scheduler, which means that now you can have a pool of salespeople and people can book in calls and then that call then gets routed out to the best match, which is a great way if you need that sort of round robining function. If you just need like a general onboarding call or sales call, that's great. And all these systems also have a way that you can select a specific salesperson to work with and have your call with and um, do that as well. Forms and stuff, you can pretty much ignore all the forms on all these platforms. I don't recommend using any of their forms. They're all right as a call scheduler system. They're pretty much all these call scheduler systems are exactly the same. Simply Meet Me is another one. Up to 30 users on the $12 a month plan. When you go over to the enterprise, it actually gets a little bit cheaper. They have pricing tiers. And that's what you'll find with most of these enterprise levels is that you pay for 50, but you might only use 35 users. But the 50 users might be at $7 a user instead of $12 a user. And they're always on a yearly contract as well. Seven external calendars. You're not going to need more than seven. Most people have one, so that's plenty. Calendly say unlim or multiple, but I think it is limited to three. Accepting payments. You can accept payments in all of these, including Calendly. Most of them just have credit card type payment systems. And that's great if you want to charge for your calls. You can put in a price and then just collect payments for a call. Custom CSS basically allows you to customize the look of the calendar. So if you want to change the color of this button, for instance, or the color of the check marks or the size of the text, then you can do that with custom CSS. And you can do that as long as you've got a place to put the custom CSS. If you're embedding it on a website, you can just put it in the embed code provided that you can look up certain fields. So you could do an inspect and then you could look at the page source for this particular part of the page and then you can call that in the CSS and then you can change that with some code. You can do that for anything that you've embedded on your website because now you've got control over the code. But if you're using a built-in page that one of these platforms is providing to you, well, then you need to have somewhere to add that custom CSS. And not all platforms have that functionality. In terms of my preference, I actually prefer Simply Meet. And the reason for that is because their API makes sense. Calendly's API, I've had a couple of videos about this before. It's an absolute 
terrible API. I don't know why they built it that way or what they were thinking, but if, if you're trying to add fields to a form, uh, how the data is returned is question one, question two, question three. But if you have question two as optional, well now question three is question two, which is absolute nonsense. Whoever designed that is just crazy. And they obviously never use their API. So that's why I recommend don't build those huge forms because if you have multiple things as optional, you can just imagine how jumbled that response is going to be when you try to use it. And so in Make, when you try to read that data, you have to basically go, right, iterate the form question and answers. Then if the form question is this question, then map it into this variable. And then I map that variable into this field in the thing. It's an incredibly complicated way to do it. It just doesn't make any sense. If you're going to use fields in Calendly, make them all required. Don't put lots of fields in there and just have like name, phone number, email. Make it all required and then solves the problem, gets around it. But wow, what a terrible API. Uh, this one here has a great API. They, they have the form. They have the form question answer. No issues there. So same price. The free plan's very good here. Uh, the free plan on Calendly doesn't give you access to the API, which they don't list here. And for me, I just need the free plan. I don't have more than 500 meetings a month because all my meetings are recurring. So I just book them in directly with the client. So free plan is great for me here and it gives me the access to the API. That's the main reason why I use Simply Meet. Otherwise, I probably would use Calendly. But Simply Meet is also pretty good for their pricing. They do have some extra features, and I do prefer how they've laid out their dashboard. It's a little bit easier than Calendly. Acuity is way down on the list here in terms of what I would recommend. I used to recommend them more than Calendly because they were just much better in the same price. But then they sold to Squarespace, doubled their prices, and just went down the toilet. Just horrible. Doodle is really the only option if you want to do these polling appointments. So that jumps to the top of the, of the list here because they just do it so much better than everybody else. And in terms of my preference and to what I'd recommend, Simply Meet is definitely my preference for a call scheduler, mostly because the free plan is free and has a good API. Very generous. You can customize with CSS. Calendly is okay if you're just getting started. You just want something real simple. They have kept it nice and simple, which I like. They haven't bloated it with like landing pages and try to do email marketing or whatever. So that's nice. Um, Simply Meet is part of a larger system and they do have other things that you can add in, but I like that you get the choice of adding them in. You don't get them all bloated in there from the start. Um, and how they actually do the features on Simply Meet is that you add in the feature and then you pay extra for that feature. And I quite like that because you get, I think you get three that you can choose from as part of your plan level. It allows you to fully customize the system. And that means that you start with something that's got no bloat in it at at all. It's just a very basic call scheduler. Then you can add in the things that you want. If you want round robin, you can add that into the free plan. I, I really like how they have the, the function to bolt on things rather than give you everything. And then you have to try and navigate through this horrible maze that they've created. That allows you to build something that's simple and is exactly what you want and need versus something that's overkill that you have to try and sift through to, to work with every time. Calendly, on the other hand, they hide it away in certain areas, but it, it's still actually a pretty simple system. It doesn't have a lot of customization to it. It's really just in the box and you don't really get to customize it that much. You can always tell when people are using Calendly to do calls because they all look exactly the same and they'll function the same way and the emails all look the same.